Hi guys and welcome back. In this video today I'm going to be drawing my character Scathe. I'm doing a character sheet for him so I can use it as reference throughout my comic and if I ever get lost drawing uh, what he looks like or I need a, a certain pose or whatnot, I can draw him from the sheet instead of just from memory because that's not helpful if you're just drawing everything from memory because you will forget things and make mistakes and I actually made one in this one when I was I, re I recorded it and I realized at the end as I was um, you know finishing up that I used the wrong color on Scathe's neck guard um, the uh, the gold and brown neck guard is supposed to have a little blue at the bottom of it and I accidentally made it gold but I can finish that and you know fix it later on but it's too late to fix that in this video but yeah I uh, I was kind of in the mood to draw him because all my character sheets are a little bit outdated. His most of all, I think I started it back in May. Um, the one in the little box there is from a couple months ago, but I didn't really like the pose that I had him in. It was too stagnant, a little too mannequinish, and I didn't want that look at all. So I got him in another pose and more uh, accurate to his personality, which is a a boy who has very bad posture which is very relatable because his back's kind of doing this little crooked thing because I got that crooked thing it's called scoliosis and if you guys have scoliosis I feel for you the struggle is real <laughs> but uh yeah that's just a little character trait I decided to give him he's always kind of hunched over and you know he's shorter than everyone else which is another personality thing that I inflicted on him because I'm like four foot eleven and everyone's taller than me and he's like six foot six or something like that but he's still considered short in terms of uh, you know being right next to Blight. Blight is uh, about six foot nine so she's pretty tall uh, but anyway um, yeah I just kind of wanted to draw him and see what he would look like uh, if I drew him more recently because the other ones are a little old and I still need to update Bram and Blight's character sheets as well. And I kind of need to add a couple of characters who are going to be shown very soon in the comic. I started drawing, um, I believe it's episode 8 or 9, I can't remember anymore. Um, the one I'm working on currently. And I realized that I didn't have a character sheet for one of the new characters. And it's probably too late anyway to actually do it because I'm about 14 pages in. Um, but eventually I will create one for that new character. But today is not that day. But eventually I will get to it. And there's a lot of characters that I want to introduce soon, but I'm going to have to wait a little longer. The story needs to develop a little bit more before I start adding more characters. But I'm very excited to introduce the ones that I have in my mind. But it'll, it'll be a little bit. But yeah. I think character sheets are a nice way of collecting all your pieces and just kind of putting them together because um, I wanted to put Scathe, Bram, and Blight um, in the same sheet like I'm doing in the corner over there um, just to see the height differences between everybody and what makes them, you know, it just kind of puts them all in the same universe instead of having them be like entirely separate entities um, but eventually if I ever have the time I want to put all my uh, main and secondary characters in the same uh, sheet and just kind of have them all in this huge group photo kind of thing and just to see what they all look like all together and that's just the goal for these character sheets so I may be doing more of them in the future and recording the process as I go but yeah um, it's probably my favorite thing to do with the comic um, besides actually drawing the comic and coloring it itself because I do really enjoy that process sometimes it can be a little frustrating or I can't get a pose right or the lighting right but in the end, it's very rewarding to see it all come together and what everything looks like after it's done. And I, I don't know if it's narcissistic or not, but I'll like kind of scroll through my comic and I'm like, holy crap, I made that, you know? It's so cool because I created this with my hands and I know it's digital art, but it's as much as an art form as anything else, just like drawing with a pen and paper. But I'll get into that topic some other time because it's something I feel very strongly about and people kind of look down on digital art because you think that, you know, th an artist waves a magic wand and suddenly there's art and boom, presto, it's there and people see it as a kind of a cheating kind of art form, which I strongly disagree with, but once again, I'll get into that some other day. 
but yes, I'm very happy with how Scathe looks in this one. He's very regal and how I want him to be because he's a very uh, self-important fellow and he will have his own little chapters eventually, um, but it won't be just about him because he's kind of reliant upon other characters, but he is his own standalone kind of guy. Like he doesn't really like other people or really anyone else, even those of his own race. So he'll be an interesting guy to kind of write about, I think. And I hope you guys all enjoy his character or you can hate him, whichever. I don't care as long as I evoke an emotion from you. I'm happy with it. But he's almost done and you can probably see the uh, the color that I got inaccurate is the bottom of his collar there. It's supposed to be blue and I'm so mad at myself for not catching that before I finished it and posted this video but once again I can fix it later on and I just need to go easy on myself. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and comment and all that good stuff so I know how you feel about it and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!